I thought I would touch on a few subjects with you. Uh, number one, I had some comments that my la that, uh, my last or my video where I was doing the little jazz eighteen dollar camcorder. I was told that the volume was horrible and that you couldn't hear me. And even one guy says, you know, I I I, I want to watch your videos, but now if, if you can't solve that volume problem, I I just ain't gonna watch them no more. And I don't blame a person for that, but I don't know I got a problem unless somebody tells me, and I really appreciate you telling me. Also, my good friend up there, Trader Joe, he told me that he felt that this camera that I just got, this Canon, was far superior to the Samsung I was using. So I would like, you know, to hear back from y'all and let me know what you think. I'm not sure it's the camera as much as I encoded one of the, my latest videos in the highest possible format. Uh, uh, because hell, it takes forever to upload anyway. So I went ahead and told him really jazz that up, and and especially because I had that little eighteen dollar camcorder on there. And I do know that I have trouble with the volume on the cam, the little cheapy, because the little bitty tiny pinhole. If you ain't pointing right straight at it, you ain't gonna hear it. Anyhow, I'd appreciate your feedback on, on this video. Let me know how it looks, how it sounds, and and all that. I'm having a Friday morning coffee chat instead of a Saturday morning. I've been working my butt off this past week, getting all this brush picked up that I cut out from underneath these trees. And it's about, Lord, it's about 400 foot. Let me see if I can show it to you real quick. Yeah, if you can look down through there, all these cedar trees here your limbs was reaching way out. And if you look down at the bottom of your picture right there, you'll see where it's dark. See, these limbs reached way out here and uh, was actually robbing me of a bunch of real estate. So uh, I went down through there and everything that I could reach, you know, as far as right up against the tree, I started cutting limbs and I had that stuff piled up and I drug it out to where the chicken tractor is in a row. And then I've drug it up here to start burning, to try to finish burning it. But anyway, I've done this by my darned old tired gray haired self. And I'm glad to get that done. Now then I got clear, I got clear space to run my chicken tractor back and forth, back and forth out there. All right. Anyhow, get back around here. Well, I wanted to say I wanted to say to you, I know how to solve that damn problem with all these people getting shot in the middle of the damn night. When I was a kid, I remember the saying so well, and I don't remember was it my parents telling it to me? Was it something I saw on TV? I don't know. But the saying was maybe he's on a movie, who knows? But the saying was, nothing, er, nothing good ever happens after 10 o'clock at night. Well, let's think about that for a minute. Nothing good ever happens after 10 o'clock at night. If you're a parent, if you have children, and, you know, they're, they're just starting to date and all that, you know what's going to happen if you let them stay out real late. Uh, especially if they had gone out with me when I was a young fella. You know, <laughs> well, you know, maybe try. But that's another story for another time. Anyway, uh, these shootings and, the, and these gangs and all these problems, these robberies, thefts, burglaries, and all that, as I'm watching TV, they're always, it's like it's at midnight, 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock in the morning. And, you know, it, why is that? Is it that, okay, all, all good people are in bed? Or is it uh, they've been drinking all night and, and doing their drugs all evening, all night, and now that's finally kicked in and they feel invincible or they got to have some more? I don't know. But for those of you out there that are worried about your kids getting shot, 
well why don't you worry about making sure they're home in your home and they're in their room and they're in their bed because more than likely they're not going to get shot they're not going to get killed they're not going to get run over they're not going to get in a car wreck if you young parents out there would start acting like parents instead of trying to be their buddies and the problem we've got nowadays is doggone the 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 kid the the people my children's age which is in mid thir uh, young 30s mid 30s you know there's so many of them out there that are strung out on drugs and they just quite honestly they aren't good parents and it's a crying damn shame because they don't have enough self-respect for themselves and then they don't pass it on to their kids or they let the neighborhood watch their children it, it's it breaks my heart but nothing good ever happens after 10 o'clock at night you know maybe you know we can't declare martial law we can't make it illegal for people to be out after a certain hour now we can't set a you know a nationwide curfew it don't work but it can start and it can start with your child and your child's friends and you talking to your children's friends parents and getting together and saying you know we need to we need to stick together with this and you know well Johnny's J Johnny's mom lets him stay out till two o'clock in the morning well I'm not Johnny's mom okay so what you got to do is you got to get with Johnny's mom you know get with all them mothers and fathers out there and, and y'all work together because your child is not going to want to be out at one o'clock in the morning if there ain't nobody for him to hang with you know so you know it just breaks my heart to see these these young people getting shot left and right and people shooting cops the cops shooting kids and you know of course the parents say oh not my child no no my child was innocent you know as they pull a gun out of his hand or out of his waistband or whatever and a damn racist Damn racist Black Lives Matter sons of bitches. They're, they're spewing vitriol and hatred. You know, somebody, somebody gave me a link that I watched and it was these black folks wearing Black Lives Matter t-shirts and they were blocking a street and a sidewalk, just standing there. And this elderly white man with a beard, white beard, had a little book under his arm or whatever. He's wanting to walk down the sidewalk. And these black people wouldn't let him. And, uh, you know, black people, all that does is promote racism. Do you not understand that? You know, if you stand there and deny this person the right to walk down a sidewalk because of the color of his skin, do you not see, do you not see what you're promoting? you're promoting the racism you don't want to be judged by the color of your skin uh, uh. anyway let me talk about something a little more a little, little more light-hearted uh, at the end of this video you're going to see some uh, uh, a little bit of film you're going to see some of my tomatoes i got them cherry tomatoes god i love them cherry tomatoes i can eat them some bitches all day long oh god i love these things anyway I took my camera and went out there and I filmed my my cherry tomatoes and my marigolds. My daggum tomato plants are six foot tall. Some of them. Six foot tall. And I've got marigolds out there four and a half foot tall. I've never seen nothing like it. And we got gourds and uh big old squash big old zucchini squash so I thought maybe maybe y'all like to have some of them seeds uh, uh, if you would like some of these tomato seeds these gourds uh, zucchini squash yellow squash marigolds won't you just send me a self-addressed stamped envelope okay Send it to call Bob for signs 
at 214 Reeves Street, Tullahoma, Tennessee, 37388. I'll put the address down here so you can see it and you can pause, pause video. But um, send me an envelope, a self-addressed stamped envelope, and uh, I'll put you a bunch of seeds in there. Tell me what kind you want. And uh, if you want to be nice enough to drop me a, a, a little bit of folding money in there, <laughs> I'd appreciate it. Uh, and uh, those that do, you know, show me a little appreciation. I, I'll try to send you back. Uh, I like doing a cheap decal or two, just depending on the, on the size of the prize and the, and the envelope I get. But uh, and if you can't afford it, if you can't afford to donate, you don't worry about it. You don't worry about it. You just send me a self-addressed stamped envelope and tell me what you need, and I'll send it to you. It ain't no problem because I've been there and I've done that. So, you know, I've got sweet basil. I've got seeds for that. So, uh, anyway, those of you that, that can help me out on them, great. Those of you that can't, you don't worry about it. You just tell me what you need because we got to stick together in this old world. Well, folks, I've run my mouth long enough. My coffee's done got cold. <laughs> Let me know about this video quality on it. Y'all have a wonderful day and a better tomorrow. <laughs> Bye. I don't buy new cars. I don't buy brand names. I go to Goodwill for my clothes. I like to save money. I like to find bargains. It's the life I chose. I throw nothing away. I'll find a use another day. For all this junk I keep My neighbors all hate me They abuse and berate me Cause I like doing it cheap Yeah, I like